All right, so this is my uh, real Goodreads account that I've been using um, since last year. So I have already added quite a bit to it. Um, I'm on the home page right now, so if you're not already there, you can get there by um, making sure you're signed in and then clicking on home, and it will take you here. Um, the first thing that you need to do um, that's really important is to update your account settings um, for privacy purposes. This is really important, so that's why pretty much as soon as you finish setting up your account, I'll have you do this. So if you go over um, here, mine's a photo of me, yours is probably just a little image. Um, you'll hover over it and it gives you all these different options. We're going to start with account settings. First thing you're going to do is just double check that it's only showing your first name and your last initial. And um, if for some reason when you created the account you had put in your last name, please delete it and just use your last initial. Um, for here, you want to just make sure that it says show my last name to and just put friends. Username, this is optional, but um, if when you're logged in, rather than having a whole bunch of letters and numbers after goodsreads.com for your profile you can actually create it's almost like a it's a username so kind of like a screen name that um, will be added instead to kind of personalize it so mine's just laura6mct you can do whatever you like as long as it's school appropriate and that it's available it will tell you if someone else is already using that if you want you can do gender do not do zip code leave that blank country i think is already set up uh, make sure location is viewable, friends only, uh, date of birth, please leave blank, age and birthday should be set to no one. Um, my website, this I just have linked to the sixth grade website. Again, you don't have to put anything there, but if you have a blog or something of your own, you could put it, a link to it there. Interests, again, totally optional, but I have reading, crossword puzzles, crocheting, hiking, camping, cooking, baking. Um, so again, if you want to do it, go for it. What kind of books do you like to read? And an about me section. So again, these last uh, four are totally optional, but if you want to do them, great. And once you're finished making yours match mine, click Save Profile Settings. Once you've gotten the confirmation, we're going to go next. Um, from profile to the settings tab. Um, it should already have your email address there. Um, really what you're doing is we're making sure that this is set to just my friends can view my profile. This is super important. Um, you will only be friends with people from sixth grade at McCarthy Town and no one else. So in order for your profile to remain private and viewable only to them, you have to click just my friends. Uh, make sure that you don't have this checked. So we don't want to allow non-friends to comment on my reviews, so that's not checked. We only want friends to be able to send you messages, and we don't want your email address shared with anybody. So make sure those match mine. Um, this you can leave blank. You really don't need that at all because you will know everybody that is requesting to be your friend. Um, uncheck show friend suggestions on my homepage. You don't need that. And if you want to leave this checked, prompt me to recommend books to friends. You can, or you can uncheck it. This is optional. This must remain unchecked and click save. And um, if you go to emails, so this top part doesn't really matter um, because you actually cannot receive emails outside of the AV schools domain so anything that Goodreads would send you you wouldn't receive anyway so this really doesn't matter at all um, this comment and action notifications though does matter so if someone comments on a book review your profile like something of yours basically any interaction that a friend makes with you on Goodreads um, to let you know that it's happened, they could send you just an email, but again, you won't get it because it would be blocked. So in order to find out about it, if you select notification for all of these, it will give you a little notification up here in the bell 
um, that someone's done something once you've signed in. So that that's a good way to kind of be alerted that someone sent you something. Um, again, all of these can be unchecked. Um, I want to check that one too because, you, again, you won't get it anyway. And then this is part of groups which you haven't joined yet. Um, so click Save Email Settings. So I think um, that is, oh wait, last one, feeds. You can choose, um, there's a lot of different things you can do on Goodreads and you get to choose which of these are added to your update feed that your friends can see. So I think all of them are automatically checked, which most people are probably fine with, but if for some reason um, you don't want friends to get updates about you commenting on someone's review or voting for a book or, I don't know, any of these particular things, just uncheck it and then people won't be updated about it. And click Save Feeds once you're done. So that is all we need to do.